SUSPECTED KILLER HAS BEEN BROUGHT BACK TO BREVARD COUNTY FOR THE MURDER OF A MAN SHOT EXECUTION STYLE IN 2007. WEST TO'S DAN BILLA REPORTS IT ALL HAPPENED RIGHT IN FRONT OF THE VICTIM'S MOTHER. KATHY CLIFTON CAN'T GET THE IMAGES OUT OF HER MIND. THE OTHER ONE JUST WALKED UP AND SHOT HIM RIGHT IN THE CHEST, RIGHT BEFORE MY EYES. AND RIGHT BEFORE THAT, MY SON WAS LOOKING AT ME AND HE, he WENT LIKE THIS BEFORE THEY SHOT HIM. AND THAT'S SOMETHING I'VE GOT TO REMEMBER THE REST OF MY LIFE. SHE SAYS SHE REMEMBERS THIS FACE, THE FACE OF 37-YEAR-OLD TAMON COLE. ABOUT MR. COLE. IT TOOK EIGHT YEARS FOR DETECTIVES TO TRACK HIM DOWN. AND THEY FOUND HIM IN STATE okay. PRISON, SERVING 15 YEARS FOR SHOOTING SOMEONE ELSE. John Clifton, Kathy's son, was shot on his own front lawn. His mother says there were four people there in all. Two of them were holding her son down while he was shot, and she says it was Cole who pulled the trigger. She says he has wrecked her life. She's now 64. I lost my business of 30 years. I did child care in my home, and uh, I'm really having a hard time. Kathy has been on a one-woman campaign, including the use of a billboard to catch all the killers. Now she has higher hopes police will find the other three. Seeing Cole finally back here in Brevard County in handcuffs is rewarding. It's going to feel better when I get them all. Here at the jail today, Cole was formally charged with second-degree murder, and Kathy Clifton is stealing herself to testify against him, although she's terribly afraid of revenge from the killer's friends. In Sharps, Brevard County, Dan Billow, West 2 News.